basis and all that. So the same thing, what I'm saying here is, is peace. Pray for the governor. Perhaps yes, yes, there, there, there are some unscrupulous people. You know, you know, they say money is the root of all evil. You know, uh, I mean, you know the information I'm getting is a lot. I don't want to say it all here. Information I'm getting is a lot. But the bottom line of it is that there seems to be monetary attraction, financial attraction inside of all these schemes. Financial attraction. Strategist, I keep telling you people, it's a mind game. The artifact does not belong to us. I keep saying it. Does not belong to a dope people. It belongs to the old bar of Benin. Precision. It's a no one contends with the other and survives it. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to go into all of that. But what we are saying clearly and it's very, very obvious to all of us is that there's a there's 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 a sense of betrayal with this new development. Your monoba of the or by everybody the second has been betrayed. Because from the very beginning, we all agree that there will be a new real museum. Then why the sudden change? That is betrayal. All right. That Thanks for clicking on this channel. Please subscribe to Afo's blog history and click on the notification button so that whenever we upload a new video you will be notified. Governor Obasiki betrayed Oba of Benin. The reasons why Obasiki should not be trusted. According to Professor O'Sadler, Governor Obasiki agreed on Benin Royal Museum initially but after the COVID-19 pandemic, he came up with a different concept, Emoa, Edo Museum of West Africa Art. He betrayed the Oba of Benin after the rejection of Benin Royal Museum which he agreed with initially. He went on to form his Legacy Restoration Trust Limited, in collaboration with the British, the people who had looted the artifacts before. He also partnered with one ARYE associate, while Benin Palace was completely sidelined. Later, Obasiki's Legacy Restoration Trust Limited invited Oba Palace to partner with them, the owner of the artifacts. It is an insult to the palace and the Benin, he added. We at Ethos Blog are telling the Benins that they don't know the snake in Osardi Bay Avenue they are dealing with. He is the greatest snake that ever to occupy Osardi Bay Avenue. He is rude and wicked. As the state governor, he has all the money at his disposal to bribe and manipulate anyone who may become an obstacle to his set goals. We at Ethos Blog have been studying this snake, we know his personality. He knows how to work on people's psyche to buy them to his side. The 2024 election is going to be tough. You will see how he will buy and manipulate people to favor his preferred aspirant, Oswe Ngadarho. Money will play a dominant role in this election. As long as people want to acquire material wealth. Hence, they are subject to manipulation. In the words of our mentor, Karl Marx, he said, the desire for people to acquire material wealth has made honest people to be dishonest. In this documentary, Oba of Benin addresses Benins and the press. He explained how Oba Siki betrayed him and the palace. Oba Siki turned down the initial agreement he had with the Oba. Despite this obvious betrayal of trust, our Oba still tried to cover for the snake and asked us the Benins to pray for him to change. Obasiki does not value the artifacts but the money that comes with it. The truth is, we at Ethos Blog are not interested in politics but in promoting, protecting, and propagating our history, monarch and kingdom. In this documentary, Mr. Izadawa critically analyzed Obasiki's motive and psychology. Please sit down and watch this documentary. The museum in 2014. And of course, for four years, there was uh, the inactivity of the Billion Dollar Group. Uh, the group met again in 2018. That is the most important thing about uh, the question you have asked. The group met in 2018 in the Netherlands. Then had a proposal, one of which was to build the Benin Royal Museum within three years for the purpose of um, uh, keeping this artifact safe. And all of this was agreed to by the Edo State Government, by the Cosetum of European Museums, by the Benin Royal Family or the Benin Royal Court, as well as the National Commission for Museums and Monuments in Nigeria. However, 
In 2019, after the Netherlands Conference of 2018, the group met again in Belize, and I was at that meeting, in which it was agreed that the whole idea and concept, the design, the, the project that concerns the Benin Royal Museum to be given an urgency. However, the following year, there was this coronavirus. And uh, by 2020, coronavirus 2021, a new concept emerged, which is the, the MOA concept initiated by some group of persons that um, were not even directly related to the Billy Dollar group. But that's the most astonishing aspect of this development. Uh, the MOA is actually a project which has to do a uh, museum of West African art. It's a brilliant idea. I have nothing against it at all. But the museum has been conceived by Legacy Restoration Trust of Nigeria. The, in, 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 in concert with the British Museum and one uh, Ajaye Associates, in which the Royal Court of Benin was completely sidelined. The owners of the of, of the artifacts they were completely sidelined. And uh, what I read in the papers, and I find it very disgusting, is that the MOWA project is was now inviting the Oba of Benin as a partner. And then, see, they wanted to partnership with the British Museum, those that looted the heritage, so that they can loot it again. And it's wrong. Uh, our thinking, our own views about all of this is that uh, the Benin Royal Museum, which was the initial concept arising from the Netherlands Conference of 2018, should continue to be the custodians of these artifacts. The MOA project will run on its own lane and not be the custodian of this real art of Benin. It belongs to the Royal Court of Benin, the Oba of Benin. In fact, the arts works were made by the Royal Command of the Oba. So it does not belong to the Mowa. It does not belong to Ajaye Associates. It does not belong to Legacy Restoration Trust. It belongs to the Royal Court of Benin. To try to say they are, they are inviting the Oba of Benin to be partners in the the custodianship of these artifacts is an insult. It's an attempt to humiliate the institution of monarchy in Benin City. And, I, and many people are already saying, no, that's wrong. They should understand the Benin tradition, understand the Benin history, understand the Benin culture, and respect it. No one is against their project. They can run their project the way they want to run it, but not begin to humiliate the Royal Court of Benin because of this project. We, we stand by the decisions of the, uh, the proposals of Netherlands Conference of 2018 to build the Benin Royal Museum. And that is our concern. This was supported by the conference in Benin in 2019. That is our concern. If by 2021 and 2022, there's a more project is out of the way. MOA is not part of the ownership of this royal arts of Benin. And even bringing them, of course, there are other issues involved. Just look at the historical and legal context of keeping these uh, artworks. Historically, they belong to the royal court of Benin. They belong to the Oba of Benin. They've been looted. You see, there are a number of issues involved in the looting. First, the British invaded Benin, they conquered Benin, they plundered the city, they looted the artworks, over 5,000, and then they burnt the city. Half of the city was completely burnt. That is colonial injustice. It was done to the palace and the people of Benin. So today, we're asking for repatriation and restitution. And then you are bringing a group of people who do not understand the history of Benin to come and be the custodian. On what basis? That's my point. It so is, please, uh, it is I don't okay. understand why uh, some individuals are worried about uh, who keeps them or does not keep them. They are the property of the above building and they should go straight to 
the Benin Royal Museum. They have agreed to build this museum in 2018 within three years. But today, the project is yet to take off. So what has happened? Are there individuals frustrating the palace or frustrating the Benin Royal Museum or frustrating the effort to repatriate these objects and pay restitution to the palace of the Royal Benin? Are there individuals? If there are, what is their goal? Um, Prof, it is interesting that you Hello? Yes, I'm It's interesting you. that you have made that point. Um, many say it is because Governor Obaseki himself is not in the same book with the present uh, royalty that this is happening. And this is traced back to the invasion itself and that it is a fight between the Obaseki, a historic fight. Let me say historical fight between the Obaseki family and the royalty and the royal family. And, and this issue of the artifact is just another tough war to reflect that uh, atavistic tension. Uh, what? I think there is no connection between it at all in the historical context. And those uh, who work with the British uh, for 17 years after the fall of Benin, before the kingship was restored in 1914, that's nothing to do with it. If there was power talks, power play, power reconfiguration at that particular period, there was nothing that had to do with present day uh, uh, reality and uh, those in government. Uh, honestly speaking, if you take the, the Benin monarchy from a state, the Benins are no more. So we reverend our Oba, we respect our Oba, we honor him, and uh, to a large extent, we worship the Oba in Benin. Uh, we know who he is. He's a monobane do bolo bolo. The one on the throne now is Oba Eware the second, no Gidiga. And uh, I don't think he can he can begin to discuss issues that are uh, irrelevant to Obaseki uh, monarchy family. Nothing like that at all. The, main, the truth of the matter is that from the very beginning, of Obaseki himself, he was involved in the Benin Dialogue Group. He sent state representatives to Benin Dialogue Group. He hosted Benin Dialogue Group. The first host. 2010. Second hosting in 2019. They all agreed. That, now, why the division from the Royal Museum to a different idea entirely? Okay, let us look at those behind the MOA, which is the Dome Museum of West African Art. It has its own brilliant concept. But they should not begin to contest the ownership of the artifacts. We don't have Benin. That's my point. It has nothing to do with whether there's fight between uh, 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 the Benin monarchy and, and the Basque family. That's not correct. That what is past is past. It's history that is past. We are only today learning from that history. No one contends with the other and survives it. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to go into all of that. But what we are saying clearly and it's very very obvious to all of us is that there's a there's 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 a sense of betrayal with this new development. Your monobar of Benin, your by everybody the second has been betrayed. Because from the very beginning, we all agree that there will be a Benin Royal Museum. Then why the sudden change? That is betrayal. All right. That can also lead to mistrust and distrust. Listen carefully. Mistrust and distrust. Mm -hmm. Among people who think that they have the power to do what they want do whatever they want to do. All power a government today is temporary. The upper of Benin is permanent until the Almighty God says it is time. All right. So let us begin to learn something very clear. Listen carefully, sir. Very clear. Now, who are those that establish the legacy, the, the, the legacy restoration trust? Who are those that establish it? Was it the palace? Was it the state government? Who are those called Ajayi Associates? Is it related to the palace or the state government? The British Museum that looted, the, 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 that, that collected the loot, are they part of it? 
And then we were asking again that those who looted it, the British, who looted it, who refused to participate in all of these meetings, will not be the ones passing us on our to keep our, our, our return at it. If you look at this job the we work today, the billion artifacts are valued in billions of US dollars. They're highly priced. Uh, and all of this belong to the Royal Court of Benin, not to Restoration Legacy Trust, not to British Museum, not to Ajay Associates that have established this, this uh, MOA and they are calling the upper of Benin. It's an insult. All right. Monarchy. All right, Professor yes, so We need to manage yes. our time quickly. We need to ask you. We still have some questions we need to ask. No can you hear me, Professor Saturn? Yes. Right. I can hear you clearly. I can hear you clearly. Okay. Now, in March 2021, one of the universities, uh, that was the University of Aberdeen in Scotland, uh, said that the acquisition of uh, the sculpture of the sculpture rather of the Oba uh, at, was at uh, extremely immoral. Was extremely immoral, rather. And uh, this whole process of repatriation and restitution. I'm wondering if you think it is enough in itself to you know, bring closure for the people of uh, those states with regards to the incidents that led to them being stolen in the first place? Well, a um, uh, number of issues have been discussed on this matter. But clearly speaking, I just want to let the world know that uh, the circumstances under which they were looted amounts to what we call colonial interest. Invasion, conquest, laundering, looting, burning. And that is that's, that's unfortunate. However, when they taken away, they were sold. When they, once they got to London, they were sold to other countries. Today, Germany wants to return over a thousand of those artworks. Germany did not partake in the looting. The Germans bought. Americans bought. Other European countries bought. So, if you look at all of this, is the looted heritage of Benin. Our interest now today is that this looted heritage to return back to Benin. Don't forget, in 2002, the museums in Europe and uh, not and uh, North America, United States and Canada, had a meeting where they agreed that all of these artifacts, they are the heritage of humanity, so they can be kept anywhere. We are concerned about their own interest. Our concern is let us have our artifacts back. Let us build the Benin Royal Museum. Let us work with the upper of Benin and ensure that we preserve all of these objects for generations of more. It will tell our story, it will tell our history, our heritage, our culture, our civilization. We are people of a great past. Presently, we are great. In future, we will remain great. That is what this artifacts will tell the world. Controversy. I don't see anything as controversial in this matter. It's a straightforward subject matter. We made that very clear. Um, perhaps there's a, 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 a breach in communication. There's communication gap. There's a little bit of misunderstanding, not on our side, but on the state, on the side of the state government or on the side of Mr. Governor Obaseki, you know, His Excellency the, uh, the Governor, which I said we should pray for. That's why I, I, I repeated and insisted that we, we all, all of us need prayers for a peaceful resolution of this uh, misunderstanding. Because we had that understanding from the very beginning that it shall be the New Royal Museum as, as uh, recommended, uh, in fact, uh, pronounced by my father, not even by me, by my father. And I am uh, following the footsteps of my father. You know, so there's... Uh, uh, there's, there's no control, controversy at all. And uh, the other question you asked about the, the, the international community, we, we have said our piece. We have made it clear to them 
It's a straightforward matter. The Bene people have spoken, the chiefs have spoken, the royal family, they have all spoken. Uh, the youth have spoken. There's no controversy. The, if they, they say, um, you know, there's, there's that part, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a Pentecostal uh, Christian, but there's, there's that part of the Bible. Let those that have ears hear. We are saying that here, you let them hear. And uh, uh, we, we, we have made our position clear. I'm always making my position clear. You know, I'm following my father's footsteps, following my ancestors' footsteps. It is, this is not my, it is not just only my, my cause. It's not only my statement. It's the statement of the entire Benin people. It's the statement of the entire Benin people. You cannot, uh, you cannot expect the artifacts to go elsewhere other than where it was taken from. It's, it's just a, it's just a given. So I think the international community will be wise. You know, uh, you know, you know. Last year, when I intervened in that political problem they were having, do 2020 and all that, we thank God there was peace. Uh, peace reigned and there was no no bullet fired. And the next day or two days after, uh, there was a publication in the Vanguard and the Nation, I think. Each one of them, I was surprised, they dubbed me the king of peace. So we are peaceful people. We, we don't need to say it ourselves. People have recognized that, that we like peace. We don't like controversy. We like peaceful resolution. Without peace, there's no development. Without peace, you cannot enjoy yourself. You cannot enjoy yourself when you are quarreling, when, when there's quarrel. You know, you, you need to you need to party traditional manner. You need to you know have groups come and entertain people, drink, eat, and be uh, be merry. We, we, we are not happy that you know the, you know first of all I tackle the issue of uh, human trafficking before me. Um, I had to come out and speak. Then the next was the uh, 24. Let me say first of all the CDA issue, you know, and then the human trafficking issue. Everybody came, came running to you know to me. The end, end is the uh, NAPTIP DG, you know, I made a representation and appealed to me to please speak so that I can control those native doctors that uh, they talked about. I said, okay, I will. And I came out because they were rubbishing the image of Benin. And I can't stand here and let them rubbish the image of my, of my, of my people. You know, so we have to do something about it like that has never been done. Even the chiefs were surprised what I did. That they, they never knew that we have such, such a, a traditional devices that could uh, command. I told them all the native doctors here, are uh, under our control. You know, those that don't want to be under our control will go to hell. You know, they will go, go to hell fire, hell hole as, a, as the Pentecostal <laughs> Christians will. So we advise them to stay action, to stay away from uh, holding these people to ransom, these girls to ransom and making them swear oath, take oath and let them, so they can feel free to speak to, uh, to Naptip and anti uh, human trafficking uh, agencies and all that. So the same thing, what I'm saying here is, is peace. Pray for the governor. Perhaps there's, there's, there, there, there are some unscrupulous people. You know, you know, they say money is the root of all evil. You know, uh, I mean, you know the information I'm getting is a lot. I don't want to say it all here. Information I'm getting is a lot. But the bottom line of it is that there seems to be monetary attraction, financial attraction in, inside of all these schemes. Financial attraction. And everybody can still gain if you go the right way. God will bless you. If you go the right way, God will bless you. Go the, 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 the demonic way, the Satan way, to be, to, to, it's not, it's not, uh, we are not part of it. We don't know much, what, what, we don't know what is going on. We don't know what they are doing. They know what they are doing, but our concern and our focus is that the artifacts were taken from the palace many years ago. 
over a hundred years ago. And they count, you have heard the people. These are representatives of larger group of the entire kingdom. That's what you see here. That's what you see here. The whole palace out there can be filled up with much more. But you heard the people where the things were taken from must come back to the same to the same place. I'm, I don't know. I can't really comment on the uh, the, the financial uh, motive of uh, legacy trust or restoration, restoration trust or something. I don't even remember the names properly. You know. Um, I don't know. I don't know what their financial plan is about. You cannot have financial plan about our artifacts. That's not possible. So those those that that want to look at it like that, they are being misled. That's why I said we should pray. We should pray for them. About yes. This is a statement at the meeting of His Royal Majesty Omonobanedu Ewai II of Albini with palace chiefs and Benigye on the repatriation of the looted Beni artifacts. In the name of God and our ancestors, I welcome you all and thank you all for honoring the invitation. I have called this meeting today to intimate you of the matter of the Beni artifacts in Europe at the verge of being repatriated, which I am sure you have heard and read about in recent weeks. You may also have heard about the recent activities of a group of individuals who incorporated a company since January 2020 called Legacy Restoration Trusts. Limited. It has become germane to note that the advocacy and demands for the return of the artifacts looted from the Benin Kingdom in 1897 have been going on for decades before the emergence of the incumbent go governor of the state, Mr. Godwin Obasegi. I must sincerely thank the governor for joining the struggle and showing commitment to retrieve our stolen cultural heritage from Europe. With anticipating, while anticipating the return of the looted artifacts from Europe, I want to note that attempts to divert the destination of the right of custody of the artifacts is not in the interest of the Benin Kingdom to whom the palace of the Oba of Benin provides leadership. The looted artifacts awaiting repatriation from Europe are the cultural heritage of the Benin Kingdom created by our ancestors and forefathers within the traditional norms and rights of the kingdom. They are not property of the state government or any private corporation entity that is not create a creation of the Benin Kingdom. The right and only legitimate destination of the artifacts to be repatriated as already pronounced by my father is under the edges of the Benin Royal Museum that will be cited within the precincts of the Palace of the Oba of Benin from where they were stolen. And also the property and also the proper traditional institution that is also the custodian of all cultural heritage of the Benin Kingdom. The palace, therefore, strongly advises that any one group, organization, or the government, national and international, that is dealing with any organization or artificial group, 
in the process of returning the looted artifacts of Benin will be doing so at their own risk against the will of the people of Benin Kingdom. There is no alternative native or authority or custodian of the cultural heritage of Benin Kingdom outside the Oba of Benin as constituted by the Royal Palace. I do not believe that the motive by a privately registered company, the Legacy Restoration Trust Limited, and the purported establishment of a new museum of West African Arts, MOA, are in consonance, are in consonance with the wishes of the people of the New Kingdom. It is pertinent to note that shortly after my accession to the throne, I had several discussions with the governor on the plan of the Benin Royal Museum, and he expressed and he expressed his readiness to work with the palace to actualize this laudable wish of my father. I made efforts and acquired additional plots of land from different families within the Adesogwe area near the present day palace for this purpose. I was, however, surprised to read from the governor's letter to the palace where reference was made to the fact that a new museum to be known as MOA is now being proposed which will be funded and executed through the vehicle of another body now referred to as Legacy Restoration Trust. About up my yes. When Governor Godwin Obaseki informed me in the correspondence of another implementation framework using the so-called Legacy Re Restoration Trust, and the Edo Museum of West African Arts, the MOA, my response was that the setting up of another organization or legal entity in whatever form or guise will not be necessary for, for no, will not be necessary nor acceptable. I informed him that the that Obaiwai, the second foundation, has been registered with the CAC and has worked out a framework for not only receiving the artifacts but also building a modern structure, the Benin Royal Museum, within the precincts of the palace. And that, and that land has been secured for the building of the Benin Royal Museum under the supervision of the traditional institution. But for reasons best known to him, the governor has gone against the understanding given, ascent, given recent events. As a matter of fact, the people of Benin Kingdom and other stakeholders, especially the Benin Dialogue Group, has a different meeting, has at different meetings endorsed the Benin Royal Museum to be built within the palace, as well as endorsing the Obaiwari second, the second foundation for fundraising and other requisite administrative processes. But okay. We wish to use this museum, we wish to, have, to use this medium to call on the federal government to take custody of these artifacts on behalf of the palace until the Benin Royal Museum is ready for their collection. Under no circumstances should custody of our age-old artifacts be handed to any privately contrived entity like the Legacy Restoration Trust. Thankfully, just yesterday, I spoke with the Honorable Minister for Information 
and culture who presently in Germany over the negotiation with the German government over the plans for the repatriation of our artifacts. He assured me that the federal government remain committed to get the unconditional return of our artifacts and will guarantee its full custody for their onward transmission to Bini Kingdom to the exclusion of any unauthorized private entities or third parties. We once again thank the federal government for this commitment. It now, be, it now behoves the federal government to be the only level of government that can take custody of the artifacts with a view to transferring them to their original owner and their original place of abode. More so that there exists external treaties and laws guiding these processes. The Palace of the Oba Albini wishes to advise His Excellency Mr. Godwin Obaseki, Governor of Edo State, to review his approach of using private vehicles of legacy trust of legacy trust limited and the edo museum of west african arts emowa and to see how he can genuinely collaborate with the upper with the upper palace in accordance with our original understanding we thank the german government for their interest in willing and willingness to return the benin artifacts we pray to God and our ancestors for a fruitful resolution of this issue. Bean artifacts belong to Edo people, says Governor Obasiki. He refuses to acknowledge the Oba of Benin ownership of the artifacts. Governor Obasiki stated when he received German government delegates that the artifacts belong to Edo people and he is building the Emowa Museum to house the artifacts. Governor Obasiki insists on building Emowa Museum instead of Benin Royal Museum. Took German government delegates to site in anticipation of the return of the stolen artifacts. The Edo state governor, Mr. Godwin Obasiki, on Monday, led delegates of the German government to inspect the site for the proposed Edo Museum of West African Arts, Emowa. Obasiki, while conducting the German Minister of State for Culture and the Media, BKM, Claudia Roth on a guided tour of the project site in Benin City, said the museum will attract tourists from far and near to view Benin artifacts and have an experience of the history, history and rich cultural heritage of Edo people. He said the German government has declared interest to return all looted artifacts in its custody and assured the Edo state government of its continued support towards the realization of the Emowa project. Obasiki said, we are glad that we have been able to serve as a catalyst to make this happen. A few years before I came into office, the discussion was on but we realized it was not going to go anywhere until the Edo state government stepped in and it was the intervention of the state government that facilitated the return of these works and the increased conversations about the returns. This conversation about restitution and return of these works have been going on for almost two years. It is part of our dealing to first return these artifacts to where they belong but more importantly, whether they are all returned or not, what is most important is the ownership, that these works don't belong to the people who are currently holding them, but to Edo people and as part of Nigeria, they should come back to Nigeria. It would be recalled that the Germans were the first to accept to return the looted artifacts, Obasiki commended the German government for its continued partnership with the Edo state government. He said that the Emowa project, on completion, will serve as a facility to bridge the gap in the history and knowledge of the Edo people. The governor further noted, people may not understand the implication, impacts, and importance of what we are doing now, but hopefully in years to come, Edo people and Nigerians will come to appreciate that we took the right decision. First, to put pressure on those who are currently holding our prized pieces of artifacts that these works actually belong to us and were forcibly taken away from this city and there was a lot of destruction and carnage that went with it. Obasiki hails the German government for their support and said they are partially contributing to fund the Emowa project. Why does Governor Obasiki insist on building Emowa Museum instead of Benin Royal Museum? 
The Oba of Benin has said times without number that he wants the Benin Royal Museum which must be built opposite Oba Palace, a plot of land is already provided. Governor Obasiki insists in building Emowa and he has gone ahead to start building the Emowa Museum. According to this report, Obasiki thanked the German government for partially contributing to fund the Emowa project. It is true what we have been hearing that Governor Obasiki has bought over Lai Muhammad, Minister of Information and Culture, and Professor Abba Isa Tajani, National Commission for Museums and Monuments in order to get the returned artifacts. From unverified source states that Obasiki collected 5 million euro from German government. If Benins are not united against this common enemy, we are likely to lose the artifacts to Obasiki. Mr. Azadawa said in one of his videos that Obasiki had collected money from Europeans and promised them that he would build a museum. To Europeans, museum is a novel idea, hence they will support it financially. But failure to do what you collected money for, then you will have problem with them. Please watch this video clip from Mr. Izadawa as he explains. The point is this, it's not, it's not a rumor. When you collect something from the Europeans, having assured them that you are going to provide social, social things, when you, when you go to meet the white people and say that, well, I'm going to build a museum and it's going to house the artifact, they are going to give you money because it's a novel idea. Then when you fail to meet up with what you promised, then you now begin to have problems with European authorities. This is a clear case. Why is he still fighting to and nail to get those artifacts, knowing fully what he has lost? Because Oriwone, we 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 believe that there is more than uh, how do I put it? Uh, um, uh, like I said, when you collect something from the Europeans, promising them that you're going to construct something and you fail to do that, you they will ask for their reform. And that is the case. The reform is being asked for. He has to find all ways to ensure that those artifacts get to him. During Governor Obasiki's presentation of the 2023 budget of Edo State, he said he appropriated 2 billion naira for Benin Royal Museum. Please watch the clip. In the area of economic development, we have completed our master plan to promote tourism and we'll be prioritizing the development of our culture district, which adjoins these premises. To this end, we have made provisions for 2 billion naira to support the construction of the Benin Royal Museum, in addition to the support we've given the, for the development of the Edo Museum of West African Arts, and we are making an additional provision of 1 billion for the construction and development work in the Benin Cultural District. Mr. Speaker, on this note, I want to thank all Edo. As we are talking, nothing is going on at the site of Benin Royal Museum, but work is going on at the site of Emola. Obasiki speaks with both sides of his mouth. Please watch the video as Governor Obasiki addressed journalists and German government delegates that the ownership of the artifacts is Edo people. He deliberately avoided mentioning Oba Palace or the Oba of Benin. Who are currently holding our prized pieces of artifacts, that these works actually belong to us, that these works were possi possibly taken away from uh, this city, and that there was a lot of destruction and carnage that went with it. And at the minimum, as part of that healing, part of that reconnection, should involve first returning these works to where they belong, at least um, some of them. But more importantly, um, whether they are all returned or not, what is most important is the ownership, that these works don't belong to the people who are currently holding them, that these works belong to Edo people, and 
partner is in the door is not part of Nigeria, these works should come back to Nigeria. Um, the Germans were the first to accept the argument, to buy into uh, this line of thought. And, you know, for them, because of, they have a conscience and they are dealing with the issues of colonialism and the way they treated their, some, 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 some of their colonies. And that has sparked public debates in Germany. After all the analyses, the questions some rational Benin men and women are asking are as follows. One, who is Governor Obasiki working for, is it the Benin people or his personal interest? Why does Obasiki derive pleasure in disrespecting the Oba of Benin? When you disrespect the Benin monarch you disrespect the Benin people as well. 2. Why did Obasiki say the artifacts belong to Edo people when he was addressing the German government delegates? We all know that the artifacts do not belong to Edo people but the Oba of Benin because his ancestors instructed, coordinated and provided the resources for the production of these artifacts. 3. Why is Governor Obasiki insisting on building Emowo Museum disregarding Benin Royal Museum which he agreed initially? when he was newly elected as governor of Edo State. 4. Historically, why is Obasiki family always want to disagree with our revered monarch on issues concerning Benin people? In 1897 the progenitor of Obasiki family Ago Obasiki betrayed Oba Ovan Ramwan and colluded with the invaders the British army to destroy Benin City. Subsequently, he had issues with Oba Ovan Ramwan's successor Oba El Welka. Five, why is Obasiki always have issues with the Benin people and their monarch? Former Governor Asho Morla never had issues with Oba of Benin or Benin people. Six, why is Governor Obasiki refusing to key into Benin Royal Museum project rather he is insisting on building Emowo Museum which most Benin do not support? Seven, where will Governor Obasiki get the artifacts to put in Emowo Museum? We know the artifacts that are coming from Germany belong to the Oba of Benin and they will be displayed in Benin Royal Museum. In conclusion, Governor Obasiki's behavior is governed by hidden motives and unconscious desires that nobody can figure out. Please watch this video as Mr. Izadawa critically analyses Obasiki's video and explains why Governor Obasiki deliberately avoided mentioning Oba of Benin or Oba Palace in relation to Benin artifacts. I want us to, I want to play a video because I don't want people to say I'm reading meanings to where meanings are not. I want us to listen attentively because I pay attention to details. I want us to listen very attentively. I want us to hear from the office's mouth. So I want us to hear, listen attentively. I want to hear, I just want you people to i want you people to understand some certain things that you didn't understand while you were listening to these videos and you were clapping i just want to open your mind i want you to open your mind and listen m or tie if not tie i just want you to listen attentively to what he has to say and how a lot of people could benefit from their return. This conversation has been on for almost uh, a year and a half. Um, the conversation, in fact, two years, the conversation about restitution and the returns of these works. Um, I am very excited and very glad because it's uh, people may not understand the implication and impact and importance of what we're doing now. Years to come, they will. to put pressure on those who are currently holding uh, prizes.
First, the works, the artifact, do not belong to us. It belongs to the other Benin. First, I want you people to see the mind game that he's playing with you people. He's making you to believe that a mina duvio or in my no. So we all have the same equal right to Imina Duvio. It's a mind game. It's a mind game. He's smart, he's a strategist. I keep telling you people, it's a mind game. The artifact does not belong to us. I keep saying it. Does not belong to a door people. It belongs to the old bar of Benin. Precision. It has to be precise. Ownership. 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 It's not us. The artifact does not belong to Edo people. It belongs to the other Benin. Precision. He's playing with you people. He's, he's, he's he probably did psychology. He's playing with your mind. He, 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 if he gives the ownership to you, to everybody, it gives him a legitimate right to not be the custodian. That is what he's playing. Do not fall for that. The artifact do not belong to us. Do not belong to Edo people. It belongs to the other Benin. We have to put these things in right perspective. None of these artifacts were taken from any other places except the palace of the Oba of Benin. And the people who created this artifact were created by the Oba of Benin. Oba Isige was a bronze caster. Oba Isige. Us Oba was a bronze caster. What belongs to one person, he's trying to not get make us feel that Mayanya. So the ownership in all of these things, all of the videos he has been doing in the past few days. Have you have you see or heard him mention Oba Benin? Have you heard him mention the palace of the Oba Benin? No. He's doing it intentional. He's making the world feel that this thing does not belong to one person. It belongs to everybody. He's trying to take the relevance from the other of Benin so that we all can feel that Marco Konya, Wanya, Era Seo, Opa, Abi USL. My father never owned any artifact. Neither my mother. So how would I not claim that the artifact belongs to me? Yes, if it belongs to the other, it belongs to everybody. But the ownership has to be very precise. Do not fall for his mind games. He's manipulating us. That is what is good at. He's manipulating us. That is what is good at. What do you mean? So now, ta, ni aye buankai. Possibly taken away from the city, and there was a lot of destruction. Say, forcibly taken from the city. Where? Ask him. He said, forcibly taken from the city. He said it. Where in the city that this artifact were taken? Ask him. Were any of the art artifacts taken from Obasekis compound, our Obasekis compound? Ask him. These artifacts were not taken from the, from the streets, from the city of Benin. They were taken from the palace. There are photographs that shows where all those Benin artifacts. Where was that picture taken? Was he on the streets of Benin? No, it was taken inside the palace. Because that's where 
That is where the treasure was stolen from. None was taken from streets of Benin. They were all taken from the palace of the Oba of Benin. It's telling you it was taken from the city. Do you, he's smart. He knows how to use words. He knows why he's saying what he's saying. most important he said whether they are returned or not on the mark that is what he said whether they are returned or not he said that is not important he said what is important is who own it and when he now said who own it he now said edo people listen to what he said again said just now what he said just now is that eh, we, they have been clamoring for the return of Benin artifact he did agree okay, but it was not going anywhere so that means he's saying that all the clamoring that Oba Kenzo the second clamored for was nonsense he didn't go anywhere all the clamoring that are buried our blessed memory clamored for most especially during the Benin centenary in 1997 was nonsense it had no water it was holding no way all the clamoring that or by why even when he was a daiken clamored for for the return of these artifacts they were nonsense till he came on board that is insulting not just the present monarch but the past two monarchs and the effort of you and i who have also been fighting for the return of this artifact or even might be nice since nonsense in all that it has no headway until he came on board and dead back hear it yes hear it conversations around the return. So for us, we're just set as a catalyst. How are we going to benefit from it? Like you heard from the, from the presentation, it's not the works in themselves. It is the whole ecosystem that we will be creating first. There's so much we don't know because of that disconnection. Such work as to who we are as a people. 
and we don't never again are we going to sit and allow outsiders to tell us about our history to now he said never again would we allow outsiders to tell our history the emoa project who are the people in charge of it i don't know outsiders we are doing this is in our way the emoa project even the girl who spoke who spoke i will i will, I will take it back is she an edo person the girl who did the presentation of the emoa project is she an edo person the girl who spoke most of the people the chairman or so of Igbo, eh, no. any outsider any outsiders that if you just want to ask who are you chairman of the emoa committee or the emoa trust fund who are you 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 then he's giving the juicy to outsiders and now he's complaining that never again will do allow foreigners on outsiders tell our story while all the juicy positions in a dosage has been given to the same outsiders you know, explain to us who we are and what our objective is to us so by bringing them in having this sort of facility will the research that we are undertaking will be undertaken by us and local people will now locally contextualized so as to make meaning secondly it will stand as a stimulation because edu people are still very creative so the same people who created this world-class business 500 years ago is the same blood that flows in their veins today many of them are expressing themselves in different platforms now all of the words he has mentioned since have you ever said he mentioned the obarabini or the palace he said the people who made those beautiful artifacts, they are still there. The people he has never supported with one millionaire or 500,000. For almost six years, he has been the governor. We don't have any issues. Anybody should not say I'm against Emowa. We have said it countless times. Nobody is against Emowa. If he wants to build it, he should go ahead. He has every power. To build whatever he wants to build. In short, we don't have any power to stop him from building whatever he wants to build. But the bone of contention has always been the stolen artifact. You don't have right to words or ownership claim over those stolen artifact. You can go and meet Igun people, but you should also know that Igun people will have to take permission first from the Oba of Benin. Because these guilds were created long before colonial times. No government created the Igun. It was the Oba Rabini that created the Igun. And they are only answerable. I mean, again, and is one, and just like they are also only. In answer, the governor has answer. Governor has to suspend the answer. But why is that? Any of you have a woman, any of you have a Now, like I'm like saying, like like I'm saying, if you want to go and meet, they also have to take permission from the Obara Bini so that they can give you artworks. Since they are still in the business of being very creative, go and do your own artifact. For crying out loud, the Igbo people said uh, Iboku, they also have where they do their own artifact. The Yoruba said they have their own artifact. You can go to Yoruba, go to Lagos, go to Street of Lagos, go to Ife. Yeah, you mean some artworks. Yeah, theory. Do you have more wawe? Are you going? Oba akpa say you are. Yeah, theory. Do you have more? No, I have more. But the one stolen, I want to know. So near, I know near. Moreover, if you do my giveaway, have you sat down with Edo people? The Edo people now. Have you had a conference meeting with the Edo people? Now you have been speaking. We, we, we. Who are the we? If you now say Edo people, yeah, how many conferences have you had with Edo people? I'm also a stakeholder. I've not received any letter from you. And I have a conference of Bana the discussing in our Wati Fati. So, are you not the only Edo man? My Edo. Or you feel that, okay, 
we are not qualified enough to be there. But how many of these hierarchy people who really not Noriko Deneo, you not sat them down and you not discuss on what to do with the artifact? How many times have you discussed this matter of artifact with the other The other time, who is you, Bobo? Well, I told everybody on my show, but I'll take a break and re strategize. But there's nothing institutionalized, there's no infrastructure to support that. So, a facility like this will be that in infrastructure, which will be second to none on the continent to support our modern artists. You know, whether in the traditional arts, in music, in entertainment, it's not what we've done with the Big Survival Committee. Power. So it's about enacting that creative cultural instincts that is in our DNA. What's up the visit of the German minister? <laughs> By a few days from now, Tijani NCMM, I believe I say what's the funny of that NCM uh, National Curators of uh, Museum, whatever, wherever. Me I tell Professor Tijani and Lai Mohammed in next few days, yeah, we are you boring. Yeah, guy, oh boy, I get dabby guys in the next few days. Will be my all the bribe in here. We are aware of them. The my only a my only nine one county in the next few days. I'll go on county. Tijani, they lie Mohammed. He won't be a he get done so that he can support as I just did Tijani was invited by national assembly um, by the lower house house of um, rep thank god Ovima who is the head of that committee so so that tijani cannot tell us i invited tijani at the king's court so that he can tell us the role he is playing on how to to reloot our looted artifact. You have a lie, Mohammed. And he won't hear it busy. So every fat are there. Every fat are there. So please and please. You only a tie sona. You need Tyson. Other further informations as they unfold, I will let you all people know.